Hello, my name is Chris, and this video is called Creating Forgiveness Within Memories. Essentially, what I'm talking about here is a technique which I'm going to explain in detail, which will allow you to re-examine your memories individually, and then create a feeling of forgiveness which emanates from the person who's hurt you within the actual memory itself of the event in which they hurt you thus taking back your personal power and changing the way you remember the situation in which you were hurt within our mind the hurts that we nurture the things that people have done to hurt us exist as memories now these memories seem like three-dimensional movies in our mind and they can't be changed because the past can't be changed however this isn't entirely true by using this technique what we will be doing is essentially freeze framing a memory in which we were hurt and then we will place upon the person who hurt us a feeling of forgiveness and that feeling will be so total as to change the feeling and tone of the memory itself. So let's move in that general direction by beginning to think about our own traumatic memories. Now to begin with you probably don't want to use your most traumatic memory but use something that's fairly strong without being too strong. Think of an event in which somebody hurt you and isolate the situation in your mind. As clearly as possible, try to remember the event as it happened. Now, what I want you to do to begin with is to actually freeze frame the memory at the point where you were being hurt the most. Imagine the person is frozen in time, you were frozen in time, the whole scene is just paused. So, having paused the memory, let's look at this frozen scene as a memory space and the person who's hurt us as a memory object. This memory object, this person who was hurting us, creates a certain feeling within us based upon how they treated us in that moment. So what we're going to do is to artificially create a new feeling and superimpose it over the person and we'll make that feeling so strong that it's the only feeling that we perceive coming out of that person in the scene so that we only perceive that feeling and not any of the negative feeling that's associated with the scene. We can do this because the person is now an object in a space in our mind which we can control. We have the power to decide how the scene feels because we can manipulate any element of the scene because it's a space in our mind and the person is an object in that space. So what I want you to do is focus on a feeling of forgiveness radiating out of that person as they're frozen in time. See that feeling of forgiveness as a sort of white light which is emanating from the person. Increase the intensity and strength of that feeling until the feeling completely covers and shuts out all other feelings coming from that person. In other words, keep increasing the strength of that forgiveness until no negative feelings are coming from that person in that scene. Remind yourself that you have all the power in the situation. You control how the scene feels and looks. But in this case, we're not redesigning how the scene looks, we're only redesigning how it feels. 
Now you may be thinking, what's the point of this? After all, the event already happened and I can't change how it felt in the past. Well, that's true, but you can change how the scene feels in your memory. And we'll see how powerful this is in just a moment. Okay, now I'm going to assume that you have taken enough time to successfully create a feeling of total forgiveness coming out of the person in your memory. You're looking at them and you're seeing them as sort of a, like a lamp with this energy emanating out of them, this intense feeling of forgiveness. Now, make sure that there's absolutely no negative feelings associated with this person like anger or hatred towards them or a negative feeling of any sort towards them and focus on that feeling of forgiveness just kind of let yourself bask in the glow of that feeling let yourself sit in its presence for a while take a couple minutes to do this look at the person and feel the intense feeling of forgiveness now forgiveness is interesting because it's a feeling that comes from you rather than the other person so it's strange to impose forgiveness on the person but that's essentially how it works the person becomes a mirror for the feeling that we've chosen to replace the bad feeling in other words we've taken back our power because when a person hurts us it makes us angry and we feel hurt and those hurt and angry feelings disempower us they make us feel weak they make us feel like a victim and they make us feel defeated so by imposing a feeling of forgiveness on the person we've changed how the person affects us and how the memory affects us we've in essence healed some of the damaging potential of that memory now I want you'd be able to see how powerful this technique is by switching from this memory to another memory involving the same person where they also hurt you now I want you to see that in a completely unrelated memory where the person hurt you another time that that feeling of forgiveness is still coming out of them even though it's in a different scene so just remember a scene where you were hurt by that person as you can see the feeling of forgiveness is coming out of them just as it did in the scene in which you imposed it upon the person in fact every scene and every memory that you have of this person will have forgiveness coming out of them Now, I'd like you to also look at a memory with a completely unrelated person, a different person who's hurt you. As you remember this memory of being hurt by another person, you'll notice that a feeling of forgiveness, to some extent, even comes out of them. In other words, the exercise that you've done has affected all your negative memories to a certain degree. In any situation, that you've been in where there wasn't a particular person hurting you but you were suffering from hurts caused by being hurt in the past if not, in other words you were in pain due to past experiences but the person or persons who might have initially hurt you were not there then in these cases you can simply bring up the memory of being in pain and apply forgiveness to the image of yourself in that moment and let the forgiveness come out of your own being in that moment rather than out of another person's and the effect is similar except that it's not necessary for you to have a person there in the scene with you so you can apply this to any scene even ones where you're alone with equal effectiveness now I don't want you to get a false impression that somehow 
this is going to heal all your wounds instantaneously. However, it does have a profound and powerful impact on your memory and the ways in which your memories affect you. You still have the damage done by negative memories and its negative impact upon your being. However, by sealing these holes and by healing these wounds, you are in essence taking back your own power, your own voice, and your own life. What you can do now is apply this technique to a variety of different memories involving different people at different times in your life in which you were hurt. Try as much as you can to apply this technique to even your worst memories. If a memory is too traumatic for you to apply forgiveness to the person, remember that by forgiving them you're taking back your power that was essentially stolen by that person in the event itself. Rather than looking at it as a kind of defeat, see it as a victory, because it is a victory. It heals you, it releases them from your mental fixation, it keeps you from having to relive the same hurt over and over again, it allows you to move on with your life, and it helps heal your self-esteem. On every level, it's a win and a victory for you. I hope you find this technique helpful, and thank you for listening.